It's called the polar vortex, which is the scientific term meteorologists use to explain the historic cold gripping a large section of the Midwest right now. The rest of us just say it is stunningly cold. The polar vortex is a counterclockwise rotation of dense Arctic air that's built up over the North Pole and is then pushed south by the upper jet stream. It's producing wind chills that tomorrow night could have some sections of that region feeling like it is 60 degrees below zero, according to the National Weather Service. Wisconsin will see its coldest weather in 18 years. In Des Moines, Iowa, they've closed an ice skating rink because it's too cold. And in Minnesota, school has already been canceled statewide for Monday. That's where Kate Raditz of our CBS station WCCO picks up the story. High winds overnight made minus 5 feel like minus 29 in Grand Forks, North Dakota. Ice and snow closed down I-29 in Fargo. Frigid temperatures here in Minnesota, which can cause frostbite in less than five minutes, led the governor to close public schools statewide, which hasn't been done in nearly 20 years. Brenda Casilius is the state's education commissioner. We've been monitoring it very, very closely over the past week, looking at this pattern, the significant wind chills and public um, safety for the children uh, going out and not being clothes appropriately and waiting on bus stops and, and that sort of thing. You just can't predict. In downtown Des Moines, skaters were on the ice rink one last time before the outdoor ice rink closes tomorrow because of the extreme cold. And last night, ice piled up on this train as it traveled from New York to Washington. Still digging out from Friday's blizzard, over 200 volunteers helped elderly residents who were still stuck in their homes after over a foot of snow fell in Boston. Scott Hofford is a volunteer with Snow Crew. It's kind of nice to see everybody's sidewalks and everything taken care of and know that they can get out of their house if they need to. Jim, in the next couple of hours, the temperature is going to drop down to zero degrees here in Minneapolis and it will stay below zero for 90 consecutive hours. Kate Raditz of WCCO, thank you.